Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Sheryl, and for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about multiplying decimals with factors up to two decimal places. Here are the steps in multiplying decimals. Number one, in multiplying a decimal by a decimal number, multiply the factors like you are multiplying whole numbers. When we say factors, these are numbers to be multiplied. Number two, count the number of decimal places of the factors to determine the number of decimal places in the product. When we say product, it is the answer of multiplication. And lastly, affix the decimal point in the product. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. Find the product of 6 tenths and 7 tenths. To get the answer, first is we're going to write the numbers in column. Then, we're going to multiply just like multiplying whole numbers. We disregard first the decimal point. So, let's multiply. 6 times 7, the answer is equal to 42. Then we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. For our multiplicand, we have one decimal place. For our multiplier, we have also one decimal place. Therefore, we have two decimal places in our factors. So we're going to fix two decimal places in our product. Okay, we count from right to left. One, two, then we put the decimal point and zero as the placeholder for our whole number. Therefore, our answer is 4200 having two decimal places in our product. Another example. Find the product of 7600 and 8 tenths. To get the answer, first is we're going to write in column. Then, we multiply just like multiplying whole numbers. So, 76 times 8. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. 8, regroup 4. 8 times 7, the answer is equal to 56. Plus 4 is equal to 60. Then, we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. For our multiplicand, we have two decimal places. For our multiplier, we have one decimal place. Therefore, we have three decimal places in our factors. Then, we're going to affix three decimal places in our product. We count from right to left. One, two, three, then we put the decimal point and zero for our whole number place. Therefore, we have three decimal places in our product. Our answer is 608,000. Next example, find the product of 4,600 and 2,100. To get the answer, First is we're going to write the numbers in column. Then, we're going to multiply just like multiplying whole numbers. So, 46 times 21. 1 times 6, the answer is equal to 6. 1 times 4, the answer is 4. Next, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 2, regroup 1. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Plus 1 is equal to 9. Then, we're going to add the partial product. Bring down 6. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 
bring down 9. Next is we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. For our multiplicand, we have two decimal places. For our multiplier, we have also two decimal places. Therefore, we have four decimal places in our factors. So, we're going to affix four decimal places in our product. Okay, let's count from right to left. One, two, three, four, then decimal point. And we can put zero as our placeholder for our full number. Since we don't have a digit here, we are going to put the placeholder zero. Therefore, our answer is 966 10 thousands. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and click the notification bell so that whenever i uploaded a new video you will be notified thank you for watching